Muhammad, the founder of Islam, is believed to have married Aisha, one of his wives, when she was only six years old and consummated the marriage when she was nine. This has been a subject of controversy and criticism, particularly in modern times, as it is seen as a violation of human rights and an example of child abuse. Critics of Islam argue that the marriage between Muhammad and Aisha was morally and ethically wrong. They contend that a man in his 50s should not have sexual relations with a child, regardless of cultural or religious norms. Furthermore, they argue that the practice of child marriage is harmful and oppressive to the young girls, depriving them their childhood and education and putting them at risk of physical and emotional harm. The husband's family and the husband think that when they bring a girl into the family when she's so young, they can mold her to be exactly what they want her to be. And there is this sense that somehow the man is raising this child as his wife. The defenders of the marriage argue that it was a common practice in the Arab culture at the time and that Aisha was mature enough to consent to the marriage. They also argue that the marriage was a sign of Muhammad's love and devotion to Aisha and that it was not motivated by any sexual desire. No. So you think that um, having sex with a nine-year-old is justified? Yeah, I mean, the thing is that the... Uh, so here, let me ask you a question. Okay, is the problem with no? Uh, how I'm asking no, you a question. Let me how, add, well, I have to frame it. Okay, so if you have, do you have a problem with child marriage uh, because you think it is categorically wrong, or is it because it's conditionally wrong? Well, I'm asking you the question. How well, I want to understand what your understanding is because I think that the Prophet peace be upon him, his his marriage to Aisha was at nine years of age. Twenty-one. Uh, so. Do you think that, that, I don't think that that's wrong. I can explain it and justify it. And I'm trying to give you the entire anthropological <laughs> explanation and the historical explanation of that. But like I said, it can't be done in five minutes. Well, how about so we I, I, want, next I want to simplify it and say, do you think that this is categorically wrong or is it conditionally wrong? Categorically wrong. That Aisha was very happily married to the prophet, peace be upon him. And she was, she was highly jealous of other wives. Now think about that. She was highly jealous of other wives. Does that sound like someone who's been abused? She never spoke about any type of abuse or unhappiness. She defended the prophet adamantly until the day that he died with his head in her lap. David Wood might find that to be some sexually, or sexually arousing, I don't know, but he died with his head in her lap, peace be upon him. She was a very well-educated scholar of Islam and who could have easily spoken about abuse if in fact there was any. If in fact there was any. She was a strong, triumphant Muslim woman who had the capacity of character and the means to lash out at anyone who might have abused her. She had ample opportunity after the prophet died, peace be upon him, but David wants you to, David Wood wants you to envision her as a defenseless little child. Then the prophet Hassan proposed. Why did the prophet propose, alayhi Because Allah ordered him to marry her in a revelation. And he saw her picture twice brought to him by Jibreel. Why did he marry Aisha? Because she was the daughter of his lifetime friend, his best friend, Abu Bakr. And they wanted to strengthen the bond. So he married her. But again, why at this young age? This is the norm. At the time of the Prophet this is the age that girls got married in. Don't judge their era with the standards we have today. It differ in different countries. Some country, the legal age is 18 years, some country 19 years, some country is 15 years. It keeps on changing. Who's going to decide? In Islam, the legal age for marriage is that once a girl becomes adult. Once she reaches puberty, she, she becomes of marriageable age. Let us read the hadith that proves why we are actually having this conversation to begin with. Narrated Aisha, she says, the prophet married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, 51 
34. When something is graded Sahi or it's in Sahi Al Bukhari, this proves that it is 100% authentic according to the Muslim world. Now, people will argue that it isn't true, people will argue that it is, but we have scholars like Zucker Nike who's claiming that this is 100% true. It is mentioned in the Sahihain. It is a muttafiq alaik. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. It is without doubt. The Sanad is absolutely Sahih with the highest accuracy. There are various Sahih Hadith. There are also historical records. So as far as those so-called Muslims who say that it is not a fact that the Prophet consummated the marriage at the age of nine with Aisha Dalana, they are totally misguided. However, modern scholars and activists have challenged these arguments. In addition, critics argue that the practice of child marriage has harmful consequences for the physical and mental health of young girls. Child marriage leads to all sorts of harmful, th harmful things. It leads to all sorts of psychiatric problems for these girls. Uh, they develop depression, isolation, anxiety, loss of identity. Uh, they develop all sorts of psychiatric issues that stay with them for life when they're forced in these situations. They also increase the likelihood of divorce because while your brain is developing, you're becoming someone new constantly until you're about 25 or so. This is why we see divorce rates stagger, and basically drop to their lowest level between the ages of 25 and 30. Prior to that, they slowly, slowly increase back up. And when you're in your teens, you're very likely to get divorced if you marry that point. Um, if we actually want to favor uh, decreasing divorce, we should be outlawing child marriage because the data is quite clear on this and it's across the cultures. Uh, we also see evidence that child marriages lead to all sorts of physical problems. Uh, Daniel tried to argue that, yeah, well, women over 40 have these issues as well. Again, if you go to a doctor over 40 and the doctor says, hey, you probably shouldn't have any more children, you could have some serious issues, then you probably shouldn't have a child. All right, that's quite that simple. I can be consistent and disagree with that. The difference is, is when you're under these ages, it is quite clear that uh, you also have all these psychic psychiatric issues. Your pelvic bones have not reached the point where you're good at delivering children. And even early medical writers like Serranus of Ephesus noted this. Okay? Child marriage is extremely harmful mentally, emotionally, and physically for these girls. There's a reason why we're outlawing it. It's not some vast conspiracy. Okay? It's because medical experts routinely, country after country, come out and say, this is harmful. We've conducted studies interviews and psychiatric evaluations of these girls in India, Africa, Southeast Asia, throughout the Middle East, this always leads to harm. The pattern of conduct in Islam had sex with a nine-year-old girl. And because of that, because of that, modern Muslim scholars and apologists are defending it. But you have people like Ali Dawa, again, he, I mean, this is one of the most popular Muslim da'is on the planet very, very popular, hundreds of thousands of, of, of followers on YouTube. He's on video saying that if his daughter were to get her, her first menstrual cycle when she's nine, he'd tell, her he's, he'd tell her she's ready for marriage, right? So this is relevant to today. If you actually believe that it's wrong for grown men to have sex with nine-year-old girls, then this isn't something to ignore and say, well, let, you know, let's just say, hey, you know, let's agree to say that this is in the past. This is the present. This is the present because Muhammad is the pattern of conduct in the present. This is relevant. If you have a problem with it, you got it. In conclusion, the marriage between Muhammad and Aisha is a controversial and sensitive issue that raises questions about the morality and ethics of child marriage. While defenders of the marriage argue that it was a cultural and historical practice, this is still something that is very interesting and we definitely need to dive into it. Because one would say, if this is okay, would you allow your daughter to marry a 15 year old man? It just does not make any sense. You cannot see the truth. You're deaf and you cannot hear the truth. He said, I'm the truth. I'm the light of the world. I'm the sign. Now, when you face Jesus, what is your reaction? When you're confronted with Jesus Christ, what is your reaction? The reaction of the scribes and the Pharisees was one of hostility. The people of Nineveh's day were humbled and repented when they faced and confronted God. 
And the question that we all ask today is this question. What think ye of Christ?